the final stop on this Virginia tour we're doing now for the EP. I'm about to do this um, last interview with DJ Quick Drop. I don't know, so I'm lock up the world at 88.1. Go in here. Get this done. University. I'm Quick Draw, 6 to 10, worldwide thing, iHeartRadio, www.whov.org, Mix Up Radio, Baseline thing. J1, wrap up. Palm Tree Records do it official. Trust me, they do it official. Big up Palm Tree, Palm Tree Records. Rick Root. Okay, Rick Root. Yes. Did we talk last week? Yes, we did have a conversation. Okay, yeah. okay, so you touched down, you flew in here, ready to let everybody know what's yeah. going on with Rick Root. We're finally in VA in the Hampton Roads area. Big up everybody in the area right now that is tuned in to DJ Quick Draw. You don't know, is it? Big up yourself likewise. I appreciate you coming in the studio because you're one of these artists that you know, you just popped up and it was just like, okay, I did some research and saw that you were doing things actually for a long time. So give us some history. Yeah, you don't you don't know, um, I was born in Garvin, Orlando Spence in Kingston, Jamaica. And I've been doing this music thing for quite a while, like actually seven years strong, you know? Started the music because my brothers, as some people might know, or all people might know, they, they, they actually started me off. They started off as a duo. Okay. Yeah, and when they did their tour and I saw the love they were getting and how they were touching people's lives with their music, I just said, yo, it, it's for me. And music was in our lives from early beginnings because mom, you know, mom, you understand, because she used to play music every time she cleaned the house. She okay. Used to, she used to say, yo, if she's not cleaning, um, if she not playing music while she's cleaning the house, she's not moving at all. So, you know? Okay, so the music made her move. Yeah, from a long time. That's her thing. So it made you move. Yeah, you understand? <laughs> okay, so I mean, how you came up with your name? How the name came about? All right, first, when I had the name Rick Road, it, it, it was spelled, um, you know, like Army Recruit. It, uh -huh. was, it was spelled R-E-C-R-U-I-T. Okay. Right? Mm -hmm. But I found that whenever people were trying to look me up on YouTube or, or any form of social media, <laughs> it, okay. Army stuff pop up. Okay. So, you know, we just juggle back and forth and get the fans involved in, in, in the name. And you understand? <laughs> One two I will come up with R I K R O O T. It's catchy, you understand? And when you look it up on YouTube, you'll find me immediately. 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 Because the spelling takes you exactly there. That's right. Like I said, I did the research. We just we just um skinned over something you said a little while ago. Yeah. We just we just went right by it. But I think we need to fill them in to who let them, the, know, man. Let them I want you to let them know. Let them know who is your brother. Alright, my brothers are Delos and Conscience from out of the subconscious family right now. Uh, who, who? Who? Delos and Conscience. You mean those artists that. Some of the songs I was just playing, Bubble Gala Bubble? Gala Bubble Conscience. You understand? Look another girl, Delos. Yeah. Delos. So, so people, you understand what I'm. Do you know what I'm dealing with now? This is a professional in the business. He's coming up right behind. See, now that's a question I gotta ask you. We ain't even gonna go. How, is, how are you gonna step out of that shadow? What are you gonna do that's gonna make you. Because. You know what? You know what? It's not, it's not such a, 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 a major issue right now, because. My music is what differentiates me from my, my, my brothers. Like it differentiates me from dancehall artists, period. You understand? Because what I'm doing right now is blending all cultures. You understand? I'm I'm doing the pop, I'm doing the, the hip hop, I'm doing the um I'm doing the um the reggae as well, I'm doing the dance because that's my roots. So you don't know the style that will separate me. Okay. You, you understand? I agree with you. Yeah. Like I'm doing the homework and I'm seeing what you're doing, I'm hearing your kind of style. I'm listening to your brother's kind of style and you know, it's it's just he's doing a lot of things right now. His yeah, songs yeah, is yeah. burning up all the airwaves, and then you find out that he has a brother that has talent just like him. So now it's like, okay, do I play Conscience first or do I play Rick, Rick, Rick first? <laughs> so, I mean, which way do I go with this? Because both of them is gonna be a big tune. But you know what? Let's introduce this tune since you just gave him a little idea of what kind of style you have. Yeah, let's introduce this tune. 
tell them about it again. Uh, the Sober Tune. Oh, yes. We introduce that one, and then we go to the next one, and then we move so on and so on. But let them know, introduce this one. Well, you know, this is for all my hardworking people, everybody that has that 9 to 5, and them up the boss man or the boss lady stressing you out. You don't know Friday night come, you want to go have a drink and party with your link in them. You don't know. So yes, this sir. Is your show. Fast profits and, and, and unclean hard people in the industry. It's a cut short thing. Oh, yeah. You understand? Yes. People, um, people in my team tell me that every day. So, conscience himself tell me that. So, is a thing I'm going to take heed to. And you don't know sweat. I love women, I love all women. You see me? And when me in the dance, I'm in any party. I love when girls are dancing and having fun. Of course. Working up that sweat. Energy. You know? Yeah, of course. Working up that sweat. So, yeah, I'm two favorite songs in that for the April. Okay, you listed some foundation artists that you respect and you grew up listening to. What are some artists that you would like to work with? Or if or which artists have you worked with already that you just didn't think you would have worked with? Actually, no. Um, my brother did us. He you was, never thought you would have worked with your brother? It's not, it's not a matter of never thought I would, have, I would work with him, you know, but under the circumstances, like he, he just so happened to be here, I would just knock out a couple of children, you understand? And okay. It was fun, it was good, you understand? He was here. In, in, give me a couple points as, as, a, as a seasoned artist in the industry. You understand? Know, Bless up one of my songs with the remix. Yeah, we got it popping, isn't it? Okay, and who are the artists that you want to work with? Right now, everybody. Everybody's so, open. There's nobody. <laughs> This for this for this time. <laughs> okay, um, Carla, how you doing this evening? <laughs> you, you see what's going on? <laughs> nah, that mercy. You see how you got the seven cities going? Nah, that You the one that did that. People keep calling in 757-727-5711. Rick Wooker is in the studio still. Ladies, call up, talk to him. Everybody will represent for Palm Tree Floor Records. Big up the whole of New Jersey. The whole of my links to my New Jersey. The whole of the Vibes Link and everybody. Roadblock, everybody. You understand? Yeah. Boom. Just like that. People, keep it locked right here. I definitely want to thank you once again for coming into the studio. Anytime you're in the area with my studio, your studio, come through and we're going to definitely burn a vibe on the airwaves. Yes, sir. People, keep it locked right here. We'll play some more music. Don't forget it's going on tonight inside of Aqua 5476 East Virginia Beach Boulevard. That's where I'm headed straight from here. Headed straight down there. Like and then you got the Caribbean side and we're holding it down. Alright, well, you just saw the last stop that we just made. Big up DJ, quick draw. I understand. Big up all the Hampton Roads. I enjoyed my stay in Virginia. Big up Montego's Caribbean restaurant. Never get the taste on the food still, but next time I come back, I understand. Big up Brandy the owner, I understand. Big up Jamel. Set up the tour for me nice and proper. I understand. Everything goes smooth. Big up Nigel. We got the whole team will come out. Marcus, Country, Chucky, Mike, you understand? Everybody in the team, big up on the cell. You understand? We coming home.
Make sure we know 